what's going on YouTube out here sitting on a bunch of cardboard that I got for free it's great for throwing in uh, in between your raised beds and everything to prevent some grass growing but that's not what I'm doing I have uh, some cuttings from my apple tree uh, what do we got apple 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 and pear I think so I think these are all apple but uh, yeah so figured I'd try another method I have um, I'll show them in a second I have some that have been inside and they are just slant cut at the bottom and sitting in a cup with water in them and I think I'm gonna change that method up there but um, and then I watched uh, the video that Daddy Curbs put out about citrus tree cuttings today and he was saying to cut them back at the bottom and not touch them, which I have not done. Um, so I didn't use a knife, but I used my razor knife and just went ahead, scored the whole way around it, and then one stripe down and used the razor knife to go ahead and just peel off the outer layer. So I did that on all these guys. That's why they're all propped up on each other. Uh, this one's hanging up. The bottom one there is hanging off the cardboard. But, uh, yeah, they're not really touching anything. So, and then... I've got my double cup method. Here is uh, the top of a branch that actually broke off, and it actually looked like a nice, uh, decent little piece. So I did the same thing with that. It is down here in this uh, uh, double cup method with some soil. And I also have my master blend here, and also just straight water. Oh, and I'm also uh, giving it a go with rooting hormones. So. I think maybe I will try Rooting Hormone versus Master Blend, or I don't know. I haven't come up with an idea on what I'm going to do yet, but uh, so far, these are all the components I've got, so uh, probably, well, I don't know. I was going to start with water and move to Master Blend later, but I don't know. Maybe we have enough here. We've got five, so maybe we'll do, I don't know. We'll figure that out in a second, but let me grab my other cup and show you uh, the other experiments that I've got going on. Alright, here we are back, and these are my cuttings. Uh, these have been in here, I'm not exactly sure how long, but as you can see, just a little slant cut there at the bottom. And they've just been sitting in here. If you look down in there, can't exactly see it. But it looks like the water has some like scummy looking stuff on the top. I just changed the water yesterday, so not exactly sure why that is. This seems to be the best one. It's got a little bunch of little white dots all over the place, and I assume that is supposed to be root growth coming, maybe? I don't know. It, it seems like it's growing, so uh, or at least getting bigger, the little bumps. So I'm hoping that's going to be uh, good. And then I got another little tiny guy in here. And uh, just a little slant cut on that one, too. But nothing to report on there. So what I am thinking I'm going to do, uh, like I said, this has been, hey, um, this has been here for, jeez, oh, might be two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks even. And uh, that's all the growth we've got. So I think I'm going to step it up a little bit. Um, uh, hmm, I don't think, I'm not a big fan of the rooting hormone. I'm only using that on uh, these other guys over here just because, uh, hmm, why am I doing that? I don't know, but uh, I did it. Um, oh yeah, one other thing is these leaves up here, start. they seem to be turning a little bit black and stuff. It's probably too many leaves for uh, this one little plant anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these back. But the plan is I'm going to dump this water out of here. Uh, which I've been emptying every couple days, and I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this Master Blend in there, and uh, I don't know, we'll see where it goes from there. Another thing that I'm screwing around with is, <laughs> I've been eating a bunch of avocados, um, they're so good, but I want an avocado tree, so, and yeah, there you go, you can kind of see on here, same thing with the water, kind of looks like scummy on the top, I just changed this uh, when did I change this one? A couple days ago. But uh, I've been keeping up with it. This, I think these have only been there for a week or less. I've got six of them so far. And this guy has already cracked open. And can't really see, but right there. Yep, there we go. In the crack we got, uh, I guess, a root coming on out of there. So it's the first... first. No, I think I tried this before once. But um, this is the first time it's ever worked. So I've got six uh, cups going, and uh, yeah, they're labeled with uh, past failures. Um, 
But yeah, I got six of these going. I got one more seed that I can go ahead and throw in. Um, the hardest thing about this, it's easy if you look when you first open up the avocado, because wherever the stem is on the avocado, apparently that's uh, the, the, you know, the way this um, seed is supposed to be uh, pointing. And uh, it should have like a little pointy thing. But I've been noticing, because ever since uh, I've been trying to identify which is up and which is down, I've been noticing, like, and when I open them up, I, you know, open them up carefully and look at which way the seed is sitting inside the avocado. And they come with varying results so far. Like I said, uh, I've only got seven seeds, but I've had eight avocados. My dog's decided to eat one of the seeds. But uh, sometimes they have the little bump on the top. Sometimes the bump's on the bottom. It's the weirdest thing. But, um, and you would think the little bump thing would be, you know, connected to, hmm, dirt on my fingernails, uh, would be connected to the, uh, you know, the stem or where it was connected to the plant. But anyway, long ramble about that. So I got, hopefully, an avocado coming. And uh, I was looking into them a little bit, and apparently right here is, like, the farthest north that you can go ahead and have these guys and have them produce, so... But I'm sure that's going to take quite a long time. So, alright. Now that I'm done rambling about avocados and, <laughs> and pieces of trees, um, <laughs> I totally want to get free trees out of these. Alrighty. I've got three more cups. I've got three more branches or whatever you... Skyons, whatever you want to call them. They're just pieces of branches. And I'm going to go ahead and cup these up and then we're going to get back and I'm going to figure out Master Blend or Water. What am I going to do and how many of these are going to get the rooting hormone? These two already have. So I might have to go ahead and uh, mark them down. Anyway, let's get these planted. I'll be right back. Alright. Through the magic of the YouTube, we are back. Everything is done. Woo I've gone ahead and pre-marked some of these. Um, we've got the R back here for rooting hormone. And uh, all three of these are marked with R's. Then I've got my non-rooting hormone right here. So I've got two that were non-hormoned uh, up. Um, so, I guess my experiment will be with the non-root uh, hormone. I will have one with Master Blend and one with water. And we'll see the race. Uh, the race to roots. Whoa! Um, and then these three guys back here, I am going to pick, I don't know, maybe two of them for Master Blend and one of them for just straight water. So, we will see. I don't know, it's such a hard call. I kind of wish I had one more little uh, stick. And I do have another stick right here. Hmm. Don't really want to cut that one up. And uh, where was the other one? I have another one right here, but no leaves. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But anyway, I'm going to pick a couple of these guys for Master Blend and one for water, I guess. Hmm. Okay. On to my cuttings here. I've got a new plan. And as you can see, I've got a couple extra cups here. And it won't focus. There we go. All right, so what I was thinking was I've got this one marked for water. And um, what I am thinking is this big guy that has the little white dots. Um, since it's already got an advantage, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in water. So what I'm going to do is these two other guys that aren't really doing anything, I think I'm going to cut that right above that node there where the leaves are. Cut the leaves back. One leaf off, one leaf in half, and the other leaf... Uh, yeah, that one only had a little... Uh, problem on the tip, but I cut it in half anyway. So, the idea that I'm going to do is I'm going to do over here, I've got one with Master Blend and Rooting Hormone, and then I've got one over here with Master Blend, no Rooting Hormone. And then, uh, like I said, big guy's going to stay in here where it looks like it's rooting already, and, I don't know, we'll check back in a week. So, that's the plan so far. So, all I need to do is now figure out which one of these are going to get Master Blend, which one's not. Um, heck with it. Let's pick right now. This guy's going to get Master Blend. Uh, it's got much less uh, greenage on the top. This one has a little bit extra, and even though the leaves are a little bit chewed up and stuff, it's got three chewed up leaves in here. I might cut one of them off. Maybe a couple of these little, like, dealies here, or maybe the entire thing there. Not exactly sure. But, uh, yeah, this one will be water then. And that one will be Master Blend. Heck with it. Let's jump over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, since this one is in the middle of the stick, that one's in the middle of the stick, this one will be water, 
and the back two will be master blend. Bam! How about that stuff? Now, one other thing I really wanted to try was doing master blend with my avocados, but I'm not going to do that because pretty soon it's going to be going into something, a cup, a planner, or something like that. So, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right. That was pretty much everything I got going on right here. Uh, all I need to do is pull these two guys out, one with rooting, one with not. Master blend in both of these. Master blend up everybody with uh, water up everybody that needs it, and that's it. All right, so... All right, yeah, this has been a success. So, since this has been a success, uh, and it's been a while since I did an uh, update on the indoor hydroponic stuff, I'm going to go ahead, hop in there, and show what the heck has been going on. It hasn't really been that much, and then recently it became a lot, so I figured I'd show it. So, let's go look at that stuff. Alrighty. Everybody is now watered. As you can see by this cup, I put a little bit over abundance of water. Um, I believe in the Daddy Curbs video, he was talking about um, he likes to use pre-moist soil. Well, mine was dry, and that's just the way I did it. Um, I don't know. Moist would be good, but uh, I don't know. This is the way I did it, and uh, whatever. So I just wanted to document that as well. Um, Got a nice little reservoir of water in there, and it's just soaking up. I only bottom watered them. Uh, I did not water them from the top. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. At first, I was watering from the top just to water in, and then bottom watering. And, I don't know, somewhere along the line, I just quit doing that. And now I just bottom water and let it soak up. Like you can see, the cups will just kind of float there until they actually absorb it up like this guy over here. But anyway, um, as you can see, this guy soaked up. Everybody got the same amount, and this guy soaked it up pretty good, and there's no water at the top, so looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, the interruption here from going into the indoor stuff. Oh, these guys are already in here, and I chose the big one here for uh, Master Blend by itself. Little guy with the rooting hormone. You can see it's kind of clumped there at the bottom because it was wet, and then I stuck it in the rooting hormone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um... And I don't mind that because I've seen some videos where people just scoop a little rooting hormone in the water, mix it up a little bit, and, uh, yeah. All right, I'm not going to mix it up. I'm going to let it stick to the stem there and uh, see what it does. And if it's like that tomorrow, maybe I'll just mix it up. But anyway, yeah, the last thing I wanted to say, these two and this guy excluded the ones with the open water. I'm not doing this too, but the other five guys... Um, not my avocado, but my other five guys, I am going to try, uh, the little mini greenhouse dealie where you take the, uh, plastic bag and put it over. I don't think I have any rubber bands, so I don't think I can really do the rubber bands. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, zip lock the sides shut a little bit and hope that works. But so I just wanted to make a little addendum here that they are watered <laughs> and, uh, yeah, <laughs> you'd find out real quickly next week if they weren't watered. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to do the little greenhouse dealy just on these five, uh, but not on these three. I may change my mind on that in a little in the future, but I've already been doing these with no little greenhouse dealy, so I'm going to keep on going that way. That's the only reason that I'm doing that. Otherwise, I would just say screw it and throw bags over top of them. Anyway, that's a long procrastination to see the failure that is about to come. So let's hop inside and see how horrible of a plant owner that I am when I uh, am entrusted with hydroponics. Anyway, let's go check that stuff out. Alrighty, now we're back inside the indoor mini grow tent here. And as you can see, quite a flop here. Yeah. So, I came out here, was looking, I'm out here every night, but uh, I was out here and I was looking and um, I noticed that the plants were looking really nice. They were very perky and looking awesome. And I think I skipped a day of looking at them and then I came back and looked at them again and they were both flopped over. They were all dried out. They pretty much looked like this right here, which is horrible. But uh, my reservoir was completely empty. So I went ahead, threw some water in there, and this one over here perked right up. Uh, kind of. I mean, if you can count all that dead uh, leaves and stuff like that as perking up. But we've got some green there. I just threw a little bit more Master Blend in there. 
so we've got a little tiny bit in there. Um, yeah, so that is the tail of that one. This guy right over here, my little Malabar, as you can tell right next to it, the pepper is missing. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, it was not looking good. I don't know what happened. The water level went down. The roots were still in the water, but pretty much all the leaves just died right off. So, but that was a pepper from, oh geez, it's probably close to 365 days old. So if it wasn't doing anything in that amount of time, it's not doing anything. With the Malabar, I've got a little burnage there on the tips of the leaves there, and then a little hole right there. Um, might be some edema or something related to that. I've noticed some of the peppers get like that. They get the edema and then, uh, the edema. Um, and then, uh, pretty much it's like oversaturation of water in the cells and sometimes the cells burst and that's when you get little holes and, uh, discolorations and thin walled leaves and stuff like that. So, anyway. Alright, I figured I'd go ahead and throw up some, um, uh, well, I guess the Malabar is a win, but the uh, one squash is definitely a failure. I'd throw them all the way at the end, where most people don't even make it this far, so they're not going to see me fail. <laughs> but all you dedicated guys get to see me showing in my... showing in? Showing my fails. Anyway, alrighty, that's a quick look around here. Some experiments that have been going on. I got new hydroponic type experiment, uh, experiments. <laughs> Uh, experiments that are going to be coming up here very shortly um, with some peppers. I'll just go ahead and say that. Uh, one of the peppers will be a fatale. I will say that. Red, red fatale. Um, yeah, so we're going to do some more hydroponic experiments. This grow tent, which is literally a box that has foil on the inside and a light on the very top. Very crappy design. It is very hard to get into. You can only access it from the top unless you remove the entire box off of there. I'm going to explore something new. Probably something as dumb as just cutting a line down the one corner, maybe using some tape so that I can open it up like a little door or something like that. That would be nice and easy. But that will be for the future, so don't forget to subscribe so you can check out that video if it ever comes out. And check out my super hot grow room, which is right here with all my beautiful beautiful peppers and my dog photo bombing me <laughs> and we will be checking all that stuff out next video which should be coming out tomorrow hey puppy doggy oh pit bull all right but we will show these guys off tomorrow and what's been growing on with these guys. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit me, uh, hit, me <laughs> hit me a thumbs up if you feel it should have a thumbs up. And I will catch you next time. Look at this pretty little pit bull. Look how cute. Aw, sweetie. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Later.